What I like about dunking is just getting out there and just feeling yourself flying in the air, just that feeling of flying. Everyone has that dream. Everyone wants to fly. You just gotta love that feeling. Of I'm Isaac Fisher, I'm 23 years old. I was here from Arley, Montana. I'm enrolled in a tribe in Canada and I'm also a descendant here on the Flathead Indian Reservation. Growing up on an Indian reservation, you get a rough start to life. You don't get the opportunities other people have off the reservations. You might grow up in a family like me with a drinking mom and dad who likes that res life and don't want to take care of the responsibilities. You might fall into the bad stuff like gangs, drugs, alcohol. That's a big thing. Some kids don't even make it out of junior high to high school around here and that's pretty sad. All the kids come up to me and say, there's not really much to do around here. They want to go do stuff out off the reservation or go do something else, go on, go move somewhere else. It's like, no, you just need that positive influence and that role model to help show you there is stuff to do around here. You just got to go out and find the right person to do it with. What really inspired me is what my aunt and uncle did for us boys when they took us in as orphans and gave us a second chance in life because if they didn't, I'd be in Great Falls with my dad living a terrible life up there, drinking, partying, probably wouldn't even live to be that old. Or I'd be down here with my mom doing the same stuff. It just wouldn't be a good life. I probably wouldn't be where I'm at right now. So I just appreciate what my aunt and uncle did for us boys, giving us a second chance in life like that. So I just kind of want to do that for the kids around here on the reservation that also was in my shoes that didn't have a stable mom and dad or stable home growing up and, you know, don't have that motivation or person to go and like push them and say, hey man, this is what you need to be doing. You can be great. You just got to do this stuff. Basketball can definitely save lives. Definitely saved my life. Like I say, I grew up in a basketball home and it kept me off the streets, kept me out from doing all that bad stuff. Changed me into this person who is inspiring the youth, who is utilizing it and also sharing the knowledge and wanting to help the next generation become great leaders for future generations to come. My love for basketball started when I was two years old when my aunt and uncle took me in first out of the four boys. And my uncle just, once he got us, he just started teaching us the basic, just shooting, rebounding, passing, and stuff like that. Then we started getting into some three-on-threes ourselves, and we did all right. And we wasn't winning them all, but we won our fair share. <laughs> I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. That's just to get my day prepped and ready before the gym. And then I get to the gym at 6 a.m. right when it opens. I'll just set up all my stuff, get stretched out, and then get warmed up, and then just hit straight into my workout. I had these goals and dreams, right? I put myself kind of at the top tier at the start. I was like, all right, I'm a good dunker. I could do all this stuff. But then I had that halftime dunk show at the university. I didn't do as great as I wanted to. I missed my first dunk. I was missing more dunks than I made, I thought. That was like the embarrassing moment where it was like the slap in the face, like you ain't as good as you thought you was. You just got humbled. I didn't even post any dunks on social media for a while. I was just like, I don't even want anyone to see anything from me. I was just embarrassed. So that kind of like, you know, flipped that switch. It was like, all right, you just embarrassed yourself in front of everyone. You just gotta work harder. You gotta stay consistent because before that, you wasn't training like you was. You would take days off. You'd say, eh, I could miss that day. But ever since that day, holy dude, I've been on it like no other. What really got me to be a dunker was a eighth grade visit from Native American dunk champion, Kenny Dobbs. He came to our school and did a motivational speech for us and then did some dunks afterwards. And the dunks he was doing was just really crazy. So that just kind of sparked that light in me, like, oh, I want to do these dunks because what he's doing is crazy. 
I've done the halftime dunk show at the University of Montana. I've done an inspirational talk and a dunk show for the kids at the Boys and Girls Club here on the Flathead Indian Reservation. I've also done an inspirational talk and dunk show for the Nkusum Native American Language School here in R. Lee. I've gone to dunk camp in Lehigh, Utah. That's a professional dunk camp where you learn from all the professionals in the world, the professional dunkers. Right now, I'd have to say I'm proudest of this last year because I've actually done a lot with my own brand. I've got a sponsorship. I've done some pretty big shows. I'm inspiring kids, and kids are coming up to me telling me that I've inspired them. At the Boys and Girls Club, there was a big line. I was signing autographs. When I was leaving, I was walking out the door signing autographs. <laughs> One of the reasons why I wanted to do it because I seen how Kenny Dobbs was inspiring the kids and how he got the crowd into it. You go to any reservation, you go to these tournaments, basketball is a big cultural influence to the people, especially the ones that grew up rough and definitely want to make a difference for other kids as well. I'd want Isaac Fisher to be remembered as the best dunker in the state of Montana, hands down. Also as a big inspiration to the youth, not only the Native American youth, but all youth that want to participate in a positive manner. As a good person, good role model, doing stuff for the community, actually helping out the Native community.